to one. And they actually contribute to your survival more than your own DNA. And again, remember DNA, there's very few molecules that are structured like DNA besides collagen. But this is, these cells, these, mi these microbes, actually have more to do with your survival than even your DNA. The, the new biology of wellness, your microbiome, is completely changing the way science approaches overall well-being. It's actually comprised of 10,000 strains of bacteria and other microbes. And your microbiome is actually unique to you. It's like your own fingerprint. No one has the same. It's actually seeded at birth with bacteria from your own mother, and your microbiome actually colonizes in the gut in the first few days of your life. That's why when, when you think about, in fact, when I started to think about developing this product, what I was thinking was, you know, there, there's something about when you, this, the feeling that you get when you eat good nutrition, you feel good. How many can you relate to that, right? When you're eating, when you're not eating well, you're not feeling well, and there needed to be some connection. There was just like some connection there. And as scientists, scientists have looked at this more and more, they found that the root in here was way much more deeper, you know, because it rooted back to even birth as well, and your mother's nutrition. So, but however, the microbiome goes way, way farther than just a healthy digestive system. You know, DNA from all these different strains of bacteria not only supplements your own, um, you know, with the genes necessary to help digest the food that you eat, but also supply the vitamins we eat and need, and it supports our immune system, 70% of which lives in the gut. So bacteria in the gut also supports the development of important brain neurotransmitters. So remember what I just said, there's some relationship between what you're eating and how you're feeling. So one example of these neurotransmitters is called serotonin. That's the chemical that makes you happy. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Uh, 80 to 90% of this essential brain compound is created in the GI tract from help with your gut bacteria. And the gut also creates GABA, which is an amino acid, and it helps to provide a feeling of calmness and glutamate, which actually plays a huge role in cognition, memory, and learning. So this, this gut bacteria is actually key to so much of your life, way beyond uh, you know, what your, you know, anyone's knowledge is right now as the science continues to emerge. In fact, uh, there's science right now that indicates that your microbiome may actually support this concept called the gut-brain axis. So that's the effect your gut health has on your brain and vice versa. So part of the reason has to do with our further understanding of this, um, it's called the vagus nerve. That's the longest cranial nerve in the body. It's, it's considered the information superhighway between the gut and the brain. So in fact, the gut and the brain are created from the same tissue in utero. They're so interconnected. The brain and spinal cord are primarily the central nervous system, and while the gut houses actually our enteric nervous system. So the effect of your microbiome, that's your you know, kind of gut lining, the gut bacteria, the, all the 38 trillion micro microorganisms that I talked about earlier, uh, uh, is actually has a profound effect on your overall health. And that's why some scientists call this the master switch to wellness. The symbiotic relationship between you and your microbiome is the new biology of wellness. In fact, you have to ask yourself, does your, you know, are you efficient in being able to maximize, you know, this, the 38 trillion microorganisms that live in and on you? Your microbiome is in constant flux. So everything from diet and exercise to sleep and the environment actually affects your microbiome on a daily basis. What's interesting is that you know, your bacterial makeup is unique to you, like I said earlier, and it actually can change over time too. And there's certain bacterial strains that are really well studied for their ability to survive that acidic environment in the stomach and, and actually be able to populate in the intestines. 
So incorporating some of these probiotic strains, you know, paired with nutritional factors that are critical to survival, that help with you know promoting gut health and ultimately your overall well-being. How do, you, how do you ensure that you have plenty of these good bacteria? Thanks again. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah.